I had no idea that I would ever end up here, where I am sitting now, <laughs> uh, at Regina Laudis. I never thought that I would be a nun. Um, I, after I graduated from Archie's, I went to Connecticut College. Then from there, I went to Yale, still studying literature. Uh, I taught for a while. But in that period, in the 60s, many of my friends had come here to the Abbey. And it was a great time of ferment and exploration. And I, I really fell in love with, with the Abbey. But it was a long time before I realized that I myself had a vocation. So I think I first experienced uh, a sense of community at Archbishop Williams. And, and now I'm the head of a community. And so I think that that initial experience that I got there prepared me for this role uh, very definitely in the sense that I never wanted to live without it again. To start by thanking my parents who I think went to considerable sacrifice that I could go to Archbishop Williams and to thank my whole family, thank my wonderful friends who I, I made friends for life there and uh, they're still with me and I have to thank them for all that we, uh, we enjoyed together. So, uh, and I, and I thank the faculty, I thank the teachers especially. I mentioned Mr. Dever, but also Mr. O'Brien and others too, really too numerous to name. I think my hope, or my, you could even say my prayer, would be that our stories might in some way inspire a generation coming up to see how many possibilities there are in life and not to give up on your dreams and to keep going. And especially, I hope it would encourage the teachers and the administration, uh, the staff, all the people who help make a school, because it's a great vocation and it's really needed in today's world so much. So I hope that the, the Hall of Fame in some way would be a, an, insp an inspiration and an encouragement to those um, still working to make sure that the school goes on.